What's up, y'all? Good morning, bright and early. We are here in Athens. Wait, where are we? We're in, I don't know, we're in Georgia, but we're going to Lake Lanier. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> we were in Atlanta last Help. night, then we drove a little north, and now we are headed to our way to Lake Lanier, like he just said, fishing for our striped bass, or stripers. I'm so excited. Yeah, it's pretty early. It looks a little cloudy outside, so we'll see how it goes. And we're fishing with catching, not fishing, fishing charters. There we go. I'm excited. So let's get going. Time to go. It's rainy and icky and foggy out. Yeah, we'll see. this is gonna be an adventure. Yeah, that'll work. Good morning, Captain. This is a secret technique? It was. You said it on TV. Oh. That's pretty wild. So we, we have made it to the fishing spot here on Lake Lanier, and we just have really overclass cloudy conditions, and it's cold for this Florida girl, but I'm making do first time in this beautiful area. I wish the sun was out, but besides that, Captain Clay, he's doing a little trick right now. We're hopefully in the area where the striped bass may be hanging out, and he's bringing the, the fish to us, he just said. So we're gonna have to see what's gonna happen today, but I'm stoked. We got a couple hours window here with some nice conditions, and we're gonna see what we can make happen before the rain starts. Um, you need all of these rods, so just pretty much drop it to the bottom. Okay. Reel up two turns. And let it sit. Yep, we're just gonna stick it in the holder. Okay. Just drop it on down. When you feel it hit bottom, yeah. turn up two. We're gonna put him in that holder because we're gonna have four out. So oh, okay. You won't be able to hold them. Okay. You gotta be able to move one rod to the next. Okay. Because they're inevitably gonna hit the one that you're not holding. Got it. 10 pound liters. Wow. That's like right. that, right? Yep. Okay. All right, guys, just put the first bait out and sent it way down to the bottom, reeled up two cranks, and we're just gonna put it in the rod holder. Let Rodney do the work. That's what I like to call the rod holder is Rodney. And we have circle hooks, and you said we're using 10 pound test or four carbon test, which is really light tackle. So we're just gonna put the lines out. We're gonna see what happens. I didn't get up there fast enough. Pay attention, Sizzle. I was... Let's get you a new bait. Sizzle. He's just nervous. Yeah, not yet. You got him, get him, get him, get him. You got him. Oh, yeah, he's on now. Yeah, he's on now. Fish on! Just like that. Captain Clay called it. We're like, we're going to get these fish to the bow. We're marking them on the depth finder. Hooked up. Look at that rod doubled over. Woo, taking a nice run. Oh, yeah. First freshwater striper, striper but it's not over yet. Why did I say that? He's not even at the boat. I know, I'm tr literally trying to jinx myself right now. You have brought the whole school under the boat. They're all under the grass. Wow. Dude, the whole entire Death Finder is covered in fish right now. These things fight hard. Real good. Right. Whoa! <laughs> sick! That is sick. Just like that, within literally five minutes of fishing, not even. Hooked up, gorgeous freshwater striper, baby. Perfect. Look at that! Sick, y'all! Look at that gorgeous fish. He is so cold. This water's like 49 degrees. But check that out. Captain Clay putting us on him. Sick. We're just gonna put him head first. Geeks. <laughs> that worked. No, we're good. Good. All right, y'all. Gotta release those fish like ASAP. Got one picture, good picture. We're gonna get on some more right now. Oh, fish on! Fish on! <laughs> Jesus is crazy. Absolutely crazy. That was a really nice fish too. What size, how many pounds was that guy? Uh, 10. 10? So that was a solid 10 pound striped bass start the day. Well, now that we released him, he got bigger because he was probably eight a minute ago. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gorgeous. We got another one back to back, just like that. Damn, look at the stomachs on those guys. That one's actually just as gorgeous. Just look how pretty that fish is. It looks way different than that saltwater striper, but regardless, still a gorgeous fish. Love their mouths. Love how they look. This is a blast. Let's let them go. <laughs> they are so cold. It's insane. I'm always used to those warm, those warm fish in Florida, not those freezing fish. OK, 
Okay, let me show you really quick the rig here. This is Captain Max swivel sinker. I have never seen anything like this in my life. We don't use this down in Florida, but he said this is perfect for the fishing they do up here. And you can see it's got those swivels, perfect for it going down and your bait doesn't get all tangled up. Then we got probably a four foot leader. And then we've got this little, I guess that's a circle hook? It's an octopus hook. Octopus hook. There you go. With the uh, turned, upturned eyelet, as you can see. We're gonna put a blue back herring on get one from the well and then what we're gonna do kind of like I do when I'm kite fishing <laughs> <laughs> when I'm kite fishing down in Florida you put it right behind the dorsal no in front of the dorsal fin if I can get a hold of them Jeez, like that you want to just barely put it underneath the skin because you really want that hook point exposed just like so get them in the water and then send them down to the bottom. I'm gonna go take, take it back here, actually to the other side of the boat. Let it sink all the way to the bottom. Once it hits bottom, reel up two cranks and then put it in the rod holder. Fun, fun. Yeah, you're right. Hooked up. It's coming up, let's see what it is. It's, oh my gosh, that's a massive crappie. Holy cow, that's the biggest crappie I ever did see. Biggest crappie of my life right there. What? Captain Clay's got dinner. What? Yeah. That is sick. What do you guys call them up here? Crappie. Crappie, okay. Yeah. There's all different names. We call them crappie. You gonna Speck keep in Florida. You gonna keep it, release it? Uh, we'll see if he goes down. Okay. Oh, he's bleeding. So we'll let him go. Is he bleeding? Yeah. yeah. See how, just release him, see how he does. Okay, okay. He's got more chance okay. of watering in. All right, Brian, you ready? Yeah. Woo. Oh, release this dude. You may have to go in the box. Oh, front left's got a fish. I'll keep that one. I'll just keep him keen going. In. Okay. I'll put him in the box. Okay. Give me a fish sandwich. There you go. You got him. He's there. He he's, there. there he's there. He's there. He's there. Gee whiz, this is insane, guys. We have an insane bite. Woo! Heck yes! Just slaying them left and right. Every rod is going off within minutes of each other. It's sick. Going back home. There he goes. Boom! Nice! That's a nice one. Ooh, he's running. Oh, there we go. We'll get a little drag. Maybe speed the good one. No. Oh, there he is. It's coming up quick. Coming up quick. What we got, what we got? Now he's digging again. Oh yeah, nice, heck yeah, that is way better. Okay guys, if you wanna come do this with Captain Clay, you gotta check out fishing, catching not fishing charters here in Lake Lanier in Georgia. And I'm gonna link all his information down below. But check out that beaut, solid striper. All right, second stud, I'm gonna release him. Head first. He gone. Sick. So we kind of just been slowly working our way up here in this little river or this section of the lake. We kind of, you know, he's making those noises on the hull, those low pitch noises, attracting them to the boat. We just keep putting out baits. And we had a little lull in the action, but now it's picking back up. Fish on. That last one just pulled the hook by the boat, but that's okay, because we're hooked up again. <laughs> <laughs> Bites on fire now. Oh yeah, just slaying them left and right. All right guys, so these fish are, key some of these fish are keeper fish. They have to be a minimum of 22 inches long and I think it's like a limit of two per person each. Woo, there he goes. But 95% 90, of these fish caught in this lake are, strict are strictly catch and release. That's what Captain Clay said. That's what we're doing today. We're not keeping any of these fish, but it's been a blast just catch and release and big giant stripers and fishing in a brand new area. Fish on! Hooked up. Fish is coming up, y'all. So we, we went to a, whoa, he's on the other side. We went to a couple different spots looking for more fish. So we just got set up over here in this area. And this fish is directly under the boat. Let's try and keep the rod tip down. Doesn't get wrapped up under our other lines. But we got four lines out. We're gonna see what it is. I have no idea. This fish is putting up a bite. Got the weight. Oh, it's a massive one. Sick. Oh, so sick. He's going to get the net, Captain Clay. Woo! Nice fish, guys. Sick. So I am going to be tagging all his information for you all to check it out. I'm trying to keep his line tight and just waiting for Captain. Woo, he's sick. Oh, nice. Yeah, he's really nice. 
in the net you go. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. It's a stud. He's 12 pounds, 10, 12 pounds. Gorgeous fish. Once again, guys, strictly catch and release today. Gorgeous freshwater striper, striped bass from Lake Lanier, baby. Oh yeah, let's let her go. Biggest fish. Woo! Just got splashed in the eyeballs. That was beautiful. That was a stud. That was definitely bigger than the very first one I caught this morning. That one really put up a fight. Had me all the way underneath the boat. That was amazing. He is putting his on him today. Oh yeah. Fish on. Follow the fish, follow the fish. We got fish on. They're getting fired up now. We got a little bit of sunlight peeking through the clouds. Still got overcast conditions. Oh, it's a nice one. I see him. Color. Gorgeous fish, y'all. Check them out. In the net you go. Yes. Beautiful fish. That's another stud. Big stripers for me today. Look at that fish. Woo. Chill out, wiggling. buddy. Chill out, buddy. Check out that fish. Nice. Yes. All right, let's let him go. Woo. Not happy there find me a little bit, but that was worth it. You always got to get caught when you're fishing. All right, guys, Darcy's letting Puddin catch one. Feels like it's a smaller one. Oh, it's a oh my gosh, it's huge, though. Thanks, Dar Sizzle. <laughs> <laughs> it's a Great. Thanks, Dar Sizzle. It's a nice one. <laughs> that is a nice one. So, so clean. Super clean. So clean. He swallowed down to his belly. All right, that's a nice, look how clean he is here in this nice, fresh, pr pretty water. Not like those canal bass I get. That's a largemouth? Yeah. Okay. So different. There, there he is. is. Oh, they blow up too? A little bit. We are back at the dock and we are done fishing for the day. Epic day on the water, fishing with Captain Clay. He has grown up in this area and has been a charter captain here on Lake Lanier for over 20 years. This guy, the man here, knows what he is doing. He put us on the fish today and we had a little short window with the weather and the situation with the front coming through today, but it did not matter. So if you guys wanna come out here and do this wintertime, summertime, contact Captain Clay. I'm gonna link all his information down below. Follow him on social media, catch and not fishing charters. And now we are gonna get out of here and we're gonna head back to our hotel. And I gotta get ready for tonight's seminar with the Atlanta Saltwater Sportsman's Club. Hello. Hello. How are you? Hi. I'm Brian. Valerie. Hi, Hi Valerie. Hi. Nice to meet you. Darcy? Yeah. Valerie? All right. Nice to meet you. Good to meet you. Very cool. Look at the land shark. <laughs> 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 Come on. All right, we had a great day meeting greet with everybody. Thank you for coming. All right, we had a great meet and greet with everyone. Everyone before the actual meeting takes place. We are late to the meeting. Everybody's inside. Here goes the seminar. Here goes nothing. We'll talk about some live baits that work for me in our fishing, and then we'll kind of throw in other fish that we've caught on these lures and move into the outdoor stuff too. So, I'm, I have seen her catch an 80 pound tarpon, every snook in the world, every jack crevall in the world. Parents are always in twitch, twitch, pause. You really have to see how the fish want it presented to them that day. That's something well, like- We both have our strengths. Yeah, I'm yelling at you. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Let's get do. the trolley, let's we get do. the trolley. But he's troll. amazing. All right, that was a sick trip. I totally forgot to have us uh, wrap up the video when I was at Atlanta, so we're home now. Yes. <laughs> But uh, special thanks to Captain Clay, that was totally awesome. And of course to the Atlanta Saltwater Sportsman Club for having uh, Darcy and I up there. Check them out if you're in that area. They're a great group of people and they're really, really super nice. So uh, thanks so much. Yes. Like you said, thank you all so much. <laughs> so until next time. Follow your dream. And, and keep, keep on, on catching. catching.